Hello everyone, back again with another quick little video. Um, this time I wanted to let people know that BL Heli 32 has come out with a new version and it is version number 32.8. And for those of you who are not familiar with BL Heli, this is the firmware or software that's running on your ESCs or electronic speed controls that tell the motors how to run. So as you might guess, this firmware is extremely important to how well a drone flies. And I, first of all, before you get into this too far, I want to say if your drone is flying well, if you like how it's working, don't mess with it. Don't change the firmware on your ESCs or you might introduce some problems and you don't want that, right? If it's not broke, don't fix it, that kind of thing. Anyway, for those people who do like to tinker, do like to try new things, who may not be quite completely happy with the way their drone's flying today, they might want to try out some of these new firmware features. So according to the release notes, um, there's stuff like they say many small fixes, they've removed support for ProShot, so if you're using ProShot, obviously don't upgrade to this firmware version, but ProShot is not something that's been used by a lot of people. It's been kind of falling out of a favor for the last couple of years. Um, almost everybody I know at least uses DShot these days. Um, they've re improved reliability of signal detection, uh, but the big one is that they've added support for variable motor PWM frequency. And according to the release notes, they say that with variable PWM frequency, you can configure motor PWM frequency to increase with throttle. And the benefits of this frequency are low frequency for low throttle gives good active braking where it is most needed. High frequency for higher throttle makes running smoother. The variable frequency will work as dithering, making running even more smooth. So I'm not an expert in this area, so I can't talk to it too much, but I would definitely recommend you all watch Joshua Bardwell's recent video from just a couple of days ago, where he talked with Pete Smits, who has created an open source alternative to BL Heli 32. And he talks in there quite a bit about um, the variable motor PWM frequency and some of the problems it solves and how he chose to do it in his firmware and how it differs from this in the BL Heli 32 version. So I think it's great that BL Heli is still coming out with new updates and I think it's great that there's some alternative open source firmware to compete with it. I love seeing all these new changes and I'm not sure I'm going to put this on any of my drones quite yet, but when I get around to doing some big updates or maybe do a new build, I'm definitely going to give this stuff a try and see how it works.